All right, you bastards, it is time for me to waste your time because there's three inches of snow out on the ground and there's ice under the snow and I almost fell down, broke my ass out there. So I'm going to waste your damn time on YouTube because it's late and I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. So I'm going to do a solid brass EDC Zippo update. Both of these lighters I have had about two weeks. This one, well, more close to three weeks. This one I have had all about a week and a day or two, roughly. This one I have carried a lot more than this one, though, because as soon as I got this lighter, this one went back in its damn box, and I've been pretty much carrying nothing but this Zippo. As you can see, I don't know exactly why <clears throat> Excuse me. Every time I start a lovely little video, my freaking throat starts giving me issues. Anyway, so, I don't know if it's the newer coatings they're putting on these solid brass Zippos compared to their older coatings because this Zippo, compared to my first brass armor from 2012, the high polish brass is holding up a lot better than that one was because back when I got that one and also when Owen had his it was about a day or two when all of this started happening but it was happening a lot rap more rapid and I don't know if that's just because both me and him when we first got ours were handling it a lot more or if that's just you know they've started applying a thicker coat of their protective coating on their solid brass lighters because I remember specifically Owen released a video two days after getting his and filling it up where like all of this whole area was like already tarnished and you will see that on all of these brass lighters the corners are what tarnish first then it works its way inward then by the time it's completely has a layer of tarnish on it the corners look polished relatively compared to the insides or not really insides but the face faces of the lighter and again, I don't think that's actually, you know, this tarnish going away and turning shiny again. I just think that's, you know, relativity. Like right now, this still has a lot of its reflectiveness to it. So it looks like it's tarnished out here. But once this completely tarnishes over, this will look shiny because this is where all the wear is happening on coins, car keys, whatever the hell you have in your pocket. And as you can see, this one is slightly darker, A, because it's brushed brass, and B, because I wore the coating off of this and then pretty much just stuck it in its box and it hasn't been used since. However, it does have lighter fluid in it, as you can see. And that's another thing to expect as well. This uh, plating will get discolored as shit and will pretty much look rainbow on your ass after um, you use it, especially if you're holding it sideways like I do sometimes. So that will be expected and it'll eventually wear off like completely the brass. And if you watch a Zippo Fanatic, you know, he polishes his. I really don't polish mine that often. I clean it, but I don't polish it because I'd rather have the discoloration of the brass than like a steel insert with a brass lighter. But that's just me. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick update on these two EDC lighters. I use both of them, though I haven't been really using this one much lately. And honestly, this one is starting to tarnish a lot more than this one already. As you can see, that's all no longer high polished. All of this is no longer high polished, and it's going to just continue going inward from there with this lighter and that's what they all do I remember specifically my first brass armor started doing this back in 2015 when I got it so but of course these were cheaper back then now they're more expensive 
However, I paid less for this one than I did for that original one because I got the original one at a tobacco shop. Anyway, and you can even see on this one where it's starting a tiny bit right there. In the next few days, that'll probably, you know, spread out more as well. Anyway, again, that's just a quick little video I figured I would come on here and make because I am bored. It is snowing outside. It is about 15 degrees out there. So figured I'd come on here and waste your time with this video. Well, not really waste it because if you're a Zippo collector, then, you know, this is just information on brass and how it'll tarnish and stuff. And if you, as long as you carry your Zippo around and you don't like do this once the finish is gone, leave a bunch of nasty fingerprints and then just leave it somewhere, it's not going to get really weird tarnish on it. It'll look more like a smooth, lighter colored finish because it can't really get too much tarnish on it because that tarnish is being worn off as it's tarnishing in your pocket so anyway that'll be the video and i'll see you in the next video